People just don't be processing things very well. Y'all don't process things very well, okay? So, first of all, we just gonna, this is root chakra problems, okay? A lot of this stuff is root chakra problems. So, let's go ahead and just, let's open it up. Okay, let's just go open. I don't even want that one, because see, that's too nice. We need, we need, yeah, we need, we need the sound roots, okay? Okay? We need the sound roots. All right, root chakra. All right, a lot of these is root chakra issues. Y'all got root chakra flipping communication. All right, communication. Open up your throat chakras, okay? Y'all need to open them up. Y'all in here be tripping. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. Y'all tripping. tripping, okay? Y'all need to align these damn root issues with these throat chakra issues if you want to be in a relationship. Now, y'all ain't got to listen to Queen. You can go anywhere in the world and listen to whoever you want to listen to tell you about the things. I'm going to just tell you something. I got a, a, a pretty decent track record now. I've been married since I was 20 years old. That means I was a young woman when I got married. And I have made plenty of mistakes inside of my marriage. Okay? I am not perfect. There is no such thing as a perfect marriage or relationship. It is just not, okay? It is not, all right? And so, um, you have to grow up your emotions. And what I have learned in my line of work, in my experience with people, is a lot of people in various stages of life are still trapped with their inner child, okay? And your inner child has experienced all sorts of things. Some of y'all still have childhood trauma that y'all have not dealt with because you know it's that's that's gonna require opening up some wounds that you think is healed but that it's still it just got a scab over it it's not healed okay all right so um where we at we down here in this roots okay so for the root we need to know that we get solid in our foundation we are safe in all parts of ourselves we is securing who we are and why we are here. See, some of y'all don't even know that, okay? And if you can't address these very root energies, then you're not going to be able to move anywhere, okay? So let's start with that. Number two. The next thing that you need to know, okay, is you have to grow up your emotions. How you feel about anything don't matter. That does not matter. What you feel don't really mean that spot. What you need to do is honor what you feel and then take a more I'm looking for a word. Because I don't want to say grown up. Um, You want to take a more enlightened a higher level approach to the things and communicate. Communicate. You have to communicate. People cannot read your mind. People ain't mind readers. It's not their job to read their, your mind. It is your job to communicate. Okay. Your throat chakra is the first spiritual chakra. Okay. In your chakra system. This is the first one that's in the spiritual thing you have to be able to communicate if you are in relationships and you you were supposed to be bonded in your relationships mind body and soul okay mind body and soul uh intuitive cindy how you doing mind body and soul is how you supposed to be bonded to this person in your relationship and if you can't communicate with them then you got a problem with spiritually okay inside of your relationship wondering why your relationship ain't really working because you can't communicate Okay, a lot of relationships, like I said, root chakra, because today is Saturday, and the topic is communication, okay? So, we got your first physical chakra, where your most of humanity is sitting there right now. You want to look at this, just sit back, okay? Act like you the hangman in the tarot deck, and just take yourself away from humanity and just look. What you see is a bunch of adults, ground behind people, Acting like children and sometimes worse than children. Why? Because they stuck in this root chakra energy. They have not, they don't have emotional development. Most people, if you look at where you're supposed to be, 
okay, cognitively, emotionally, or whatever, according to your root chakra system, they develop at different points in your life. So a lot of people ain't progressed past 10 years old, okay? Very, very root chakra center, okay? Can't get out of that cardinal energy. I need, I need, I need, give, 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 give. I don't feel safe. I don't feel secure. What are we saying? Let's, let's go back to the chart. Let's go back to the chart. Look at the chart again, okay? And it says, these are the affirmations for your root. I am stable, strong, and unshakable, okay? I am connected deeply with the physical world. I am allowing myself to be present. I am material... I am a material being in a material world. A lot of people ain't confident in these things. If you're not confident in these things, you cannot emotionally mature past these things because you're still at a point where you don't trust the world, you don't feel safe in it. When you get to your throat chakra, your throat chakra, the um, words are, I am listening. A lot of people don't listen. You want to talk all the damn time. You want to be in a relationship with a person that you don't want to listen to. Just like they need to open up and communicate and you might need to open up and communicate. You also need to listen as well so you can understand where they come from. You want to understand somebody's spirit, you got to listen to them. got to listen to them, okay? Now, I am using my voice when and where I need to. A lot of us be in these relationships, you be having needs, you be having issues going on. The other person is not a fucking mind reader. As bad as you might want your partner to be able to read your mind, most people ain't mind readers. And if you wanted somebody to be able to read your mind, then nine times out of ten, you would like them reading your mind because now they can hear all your thoughts and sometimes you want to keep to yourself. So, since people ain't mind readers, when you feel something and you want something, you have a need, a root need that needs to be met by that other partner, then it might be a good idea for you to open your mouth and talk about it like talking about it. You understand? Then, I am allowing myself to be heard as I also hear others. Just like you want to talk and you want somebody to listen to you, they want to talk and they want somebody to listen to them. Let's go with it, people. Let's go with it. Let's make it do what it do. Let's start to understand some things. Let's grow up these emotions, okay? Y'all keep getting in relationships and then want to get out and point at other people and throw around words like narcissism. Do y'all know that this is a serious mental illness? Do y'all know there are several qualifications of being a narcissist besides somebody hurt your feelings and didn't do what you wanted them to do? A lot of these people ain't narcissists. A lot of y'all just need to grow up. A lot of y'all need to accept the fact that it's time to move on. And it ain't nothing wrong with the other person. It's just y'all didn't work out. You know what I'm saying? You need to grow up these emotions, right? Okay, let's keep going. All right, it says, I am allowing information to flow in as easily as it flows out. That's again, again. An overactive throat chakra talk too damn much. Just be talking and 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 talking. Can't take in no new information. And if you can't take in new information, then how is somebody supposed to convey any ideas to you? How can you get to a solution if you can't listen? Okay? Got to be able to listen. All right, okay. I am good at making decisions. If you make piss poor decisions, nine times out of ten, your throat chakra, your first spiritual chakra, is out of whack. Out of whack. Mm-hmm. Need to fix it. Some of y'all need to drink more water. Put some water in your life. Put some water in your life. You need that water, okay? All right, now, I am aware of the agreements I make and the consent that I give, okay? Don't just be running and don't know what you're saying. Don't just be running your mouth, talking, don't know what you're saying, just talking for the sake to be talking. Because some of y'all be talking to couple of them insecurities, and they don't do nothing but make people understand that you are insecure and want to keep bothering you. You understand? All right, now... I am giving myself permission to read more and write freely. Communication about anything, okay? Any type of way. One thing I have people do when they come to me with their issues and they under my tutelage and my mentorship or whatever the case may be, some of y'all do a lot of journaling. Y'all know, y'all do a lot of journaling, right? 
Mm-hmm. And if I feel like you're not doing your work, because I'll be able to tell whether or not you're doing your work by how our subsequent conversations run, okay? And when subsequent conversations run and I see that your conversation ain't matching up like you've been doing your work, then I'm going to need you to produce that for me. I'm going to need you to go on and send me that so I can read it so I can see what's going on. Because clearly, something is going on with you. If you are doing the work, right if you actually doing it there is something going on that i'm not able to see or i haven't been able to touch or pick up on so now i need to read your thoughts most of the time it's because people ain't doing the work you know what i'm saying journaling is a helpful tool to help you unlock that throw chakra or to help you be quiet because you know what another thing i do this is what listening do especially as a practitioner this is what y'all need to understand this is what listening do see a lot of folks, this is what I, this is another thing y'all need to know. A lot of practitioners that oh, don't tell me anything. That's because they finna fill your head up with a bunch of goddamn nonsense, okay? See, one thing, especially with people with overactive throat chakras, they be, most of that shit ain't coherent. And it, this is what you do. You don't respond to shit like that. You sit there and you be quiet. And you let them talk. Because at some point when you're being quiet, because see what people like this are used to, okay? What they're used to is people fighting them to have words, okay? And once you stop fighting them for words and let them continue to talk, if they got good sense, if they not too deep in the shit pile, you know what I'm saying? Because some people just in the shit pile and they gonna never get out the shit pile. It, it just is what it is, you know? And then we can do about it, just is what it is. All right, so. Once they realize that they're talking, they're going to start listening to themselves. And if they listen to themselves and they realize that there ain't nothing but a bunch of shit plates coming out their mouth, they'll start processing, what am I saying, why am I saying it? And they'll start working on themselves. But communication is the reason why a lot of y'all still have these root chakra childish behind issues in your relationship. And you, if you find yourself in this relationship and you had an issue, you go in the next relationship, you had an issue, and now you want to say the whole uh, particular group of people, demographic of people, something wrong with them, now actually the problem is you. There is no outside fluence outside of the self. So again, all right, before I go in on a tangent, all I'm saying is, you want to grow up your relationship, grow up your communication skills. Unlock your throat chakra. You need help? Come on over here. Queen be more than happy to help you. Hey, Bill. Hey, Peace First. Queen, be more happy to, Queen will be more than happy to help you work through your, 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 your um, throat chakra issues, okay? More than happy to help you work through this. Oh, we can do that, okay? Come on over here. Let me help you out. All right. I already know I had to walk that path. That's one of the paths I had to take in order to get to where I am. Okay. I understand what it is to have a blocked uh, throat chakra. I understand what it is. I understand to be what it is to be stuck in the root chakra. I understand that. I understand what it is to be afraid to tap into your solar plexus energy. You know what I'm saying? I understand all of these things. Come on over here. Let me help you. You need help. I can help you. Now, y'all can run to all the gurus and the gurus and all the places and their things, but let me tell you something. My life resume lines up with everything I'm talking about. If I'm talking about it, I can show it to you in my real life. We don't just talk time, we walk walks. You know what I'm saying? All right, so, you have a problem in your relationship, learn how to communicate. Open up that throat chakra, all right? Peace and blessings to see Y'all stay dark and lovely while spreading your love and light. And we'll see y'all next video. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,